But I never seemed to connect my spirit with the work until my first child was born. I think that's what, maybe that just caused me to pick up the camera again, but some reason I matured and I actually started making images that meant something to me, that weren't just records. Up and I had my camera, as I usually do, with me, and the, and the horses started trotting across the pasture, and I just jumped up and got that shot. But that's, why I think, why I like to teach, because I realize somebody, you know, helped me take the next step. And I learned as much, you know, frankly, I learned, you know, as we teach, the teacher learns more than the students a lot of times. This section looks, to me, about as evocative as any section of it in the state of Alabama. It's just a really, really pretty stretch of the road. But I'm very honored, very honored to be considered and to have been given that award and that opportunity. It's, a, it's, it's really, I'm glad for photography. Certainly I'm very happy that that barrier seems to have been broken to the extent that it maybe needed to be. But I also think people are more accustomed to seeing photography as art. So I think everything's changed uh, about, as far as the public's relationship with photography. That image was taken on the iPhone, of course when it was taken it looked like a, a realistic image pretty much. But then I went in with some apps and started processing it as I would do on my computer. Only I'm able to do it all in my hand. I love impressionist paintings and that sort of is of that ilk, I would say. Mm -hmm. I think it's so important to produce the work, realize the work, make it manifest, and then have it reacted to. That cycle being completed for an artist, I think is critical. I think uh, she was a black woman. It had a very beautiful British accent. She said, I grew up in Montgomery. I grew up in the projects. And when I was 10 years old, my mother abandoned me to the streets. And she said, I spent six months sleeping right here every night. It changes the way you approach what you do next. And so the opportunity to constantly be climbing up that ladder, so to speak, has really, really, really made me a better artist, as no doubt about it. But that's uh, north of here, in, called Kamolga Mill, beautiful spot. I didn't realize people responded to barns quite the way they do. There are some people who walk in that door and they go straight to the barn. Other people will go straight to that the uh, landscape, the sunset over there. Uh, it just depends. Exactly where that is. That's in the waters. Or I'm, I'm from, you, you were in Tennessee, each other, or whatever. You know, the I-65 bridge with the, uh, with the help of Mayor Strange, who uh, I called and said, I need a black and white car so I can get off on the interstate and snap this shot real quick. And it literally didn't take me about four minutes because I knew exactly where the moon was going to be rising. And all Downtown, that. urban living, and the arts seem to really go together. And I hope we'll see more and more of that happen here, and I'm sure we will.